When I go to the gym, before and after class, I constantly see people with these, or foam rollers, where they're doing something to mash the muscles in their body, which is a habit that you do to maintain health. But what if you have a problem? If you have a problem, this approach is pretty pointless. And why is that? Because if their problem is adhesion, which is very likely since it is very common with overuse, especially in active populations, you need pressure, tension at the right depth and direction to break up adhesion. Adhesion is like rubber band, a brittle rubber band at that, one with like a clip cut out of it, right? You would think it'd be very easy to break this if you like do what you would do to break a rubber band. You just pull on it long enough, it snaps. Especially with this big old hole in it, it should snap really easily. But what are you doing with the foam roller? You can press on it, but there's no tension. There's no direction, you're just rolling. So it's like you could, you could take this onto here, roll on it, it's not gonna break. You could drive a truck over this, it's not going to break. The only thing that's gonna break this is if you apply pressure next to it, create a tension in the right depth and direction. Depth, you know, not very big, so we don't have much to worry about there. Direction though, we try to pull it apart like this, not gonna work. So I could either use my car or my foam roller or whatever and try to destroy it with pressure alone, which might temporarily buy you some, some feel good time, but ultimately won't change a damn thing. Or you go to somebody like myself who can apply the right pressure and tension at the right depth and direction and actually break this thing and then you feel better. And then you don't have to drive this ball or foam roller continuously into your body and be a masochist for who knows what reason. Sometimes the best option is just using your noggin and doing the smart thing, hiring somebody to fix your shit. Thanks for watching.